Hey, how's it going, everybody? World Money Wins here. Welcome or welcome back. I'm having a blizzard outside and playing around in the snow in the Jeep. But I got mail from On Fire Guy. So this is for um, the fractional gold fiesta that I'm doing. I wanted to get a little bit, a little bit more organized and maybe expand upon it, the, the uh, challenge. And for those of you who don't know what the challenge is, the Fractional Gold Fiesta hashtag, and do this if you add, if you are in the challenge, every time you upload a video, put the hashtag FGF2024 in the title, that way we can find it easy, see how, you're, how it's going along. And Amanda gave me a note Thank you, Blaine. And then $42.30. So the um, challenge is to stack one piece of fractional gold per month. Boom, sticker. The, the fractional gold can either be um, one tenth, well, actually, it could be any size, really. A tenth ounce, quarter ounce, one gram, five gram. Uh, half ounce, whatever you want. And so I figured out I was getting I was getting low on capsules, so I'm gonna get some capsules for for the coins that I get in the challenge. And and the my trip challenge is to find the cheapest um, gold in those sizes. So this is this is what I have so far. I'm assuming I'm gonna have at the end of one year the challenge it's a one year challenge but you can go forever and the challenge has no start date or end date so you can if it's july when you're seeing this video you can go july to july or you can go whenever whenever you start doesn't matter the start date the end date is in one year so i'll have 12 of one gram bars or i don't think they have one gram coins maybe they do but i'm looking for myself, I'm looking for the cheapest I can find. Um, I didn't really strict stick to that for, uh, I think, which, I can't remember which one. There was one item that I didn't, uh, I know the, the this was the cheapest I could find anywhere. I think this might have been 10 bucks more, and that was just by accident because I assumed this was the cheapest, but I didn't check around. I could have got this one cheaper. I could have saved maybe... 20 bucks on this so I did overpay by 20 bucks by not getting like a generic Valcambi or something like that but that's okay it was from a local coin shop and I, I like supporting the locals um, and what I have so far this is a one gram uh, money, maple gram it's called a maple gram they come in a sheet it's thicker than the bars so but it's just so tiny. I, I won't get these again, I don't think. Um, I got it just because I didn't have one. Never had one, so I got one. I got a 10th ounce uh, nugget. And by coincidence, I did a random, the cheapest quarter ounce when I bought this thing was the random pick. And I can't remember which mint it was from. Oh, I can check. How about that? I'll use my brain before I engage my mouth. The quarter ounce Aussie nugget was from Bullion Exchanges. They had a random wrap. Uh, quarter ounce round and it was cheaper than everybody else it was 540 at the time nothing else was cheaper then I got this tenth ounce uh, Canadian maple leaf that was from uh, Monument Metals that was the cheapest tenth ounce gold I could find at the time so I don't like these Australian uh, capsules they're they're much smaller they just barely are the right size to uh, fit the coin they don't give it any you know any meat to hang on to so I'm gonna change that one out and so at the end of the year at the end of the 12 months I'm gonna have 24 um, assay cards 12 5 gram 12 1 gram and these will all be the um, the cheapest ones I could find and at the end of the year, I'm going to break it all down by grams. I'm going to add up all the, you know, 
how, however many grams this is, it'd be 3.1 grams for this and however many for this. And I'm going to take the, um, the total grams and then divide it by 31.1 to find out how many troy ounces I have. I could have actually done it before I started this video because it's just math and math is hard. So I don't do it very often. And so, and then I'll compare it to the, the I'll find out the um, per troy ounce price I bought all the fractional gold for at the end of the 12 months. And I'll compare it to if I bought just one at one ounce gold coins and see what the difference is. I suspect it'll probably be about six or seven percent higher. And and I'm and I'm totally fine with that. Which one of these? 16 or 22, which is a smaller. I'll have to break it open. And I'll I'll actually in the description I'll put down a breakdown of the challenge. But I think it'll be kind of, it's just mainly for my own entertainment and for, and and well actually mainly to inspire people that don't have any gold to just buy some, these are the quarter ounce ones, darn it, I need a tenth ounce, to just buy some. It doesn't matter, some people are never going to have $2,100 cash to spend on gold. It's just, it's straight facts. Some people will never ever have an extra $2,100 to buy gold. But I think people can get an extra 75 to $80 to get one gram and not many people myself included are that great at saving money you know saving up big piles of cash well if you stack gold then you are good at saving money because this is actual money this this is debt <clears throat> so a lot of people just aren't good at saving money and Sienna Grace actually that, that's another youtuber um, she she probably saved her life by stacking this stuff just to she was in a bad place and found found out about gold stacking all on her own so bam get closed this is not cooperating this thing just doesn't want to work right this nugget is being a nugget Why won't you go in your hole? Is it too big? No, it fits in there. This nugget is just trying to escape. Why do you hate the capsule so much? Then these I'll save for any one gram gold bars I get that aren't in assay cards. Um, uh, the Kansas Kid does that. He, he doesn't like these assay cards. I like them. I call them Pokemon cards. They're like a collectible card that has an intrinsic value. Um, but he he takes his out of the assay cards and put him, puts them in these little capsules, which is pretty cool. So there's that. I I started mine in December, so I've got for December I got the maple, the, the royal mint five grammer, quarter ounce nugget and the 10th ounce maple. That's December and January. So far I've got the Perth Mint Gold Bar and the 10th ounce nugget. I thought it was cool that I found a 10th ounce nugget. I don't know if this is the right size. So at the end of the year I'll have 12 capsules in here and or not I'll have yeah 12 12 10th ounce and 12 quarter ounce And then I'll probably just keep going. I'll probably just keep the, uh, doing it until these are full because if you're like me, you can't like have like 12 coins in here and then have the rest air. You you got to fill the two. Just uh, we stackers are just kind of I don't know. We're like Rain Man in that regard. Got to watch Wapner. Got to watch Wapner at the exact time. So I placed another order today for a quarter ounce. I found a, a really good deal on one and it's a cool one too so I'm pretty stoked about that um, I almost ordered a one gram or a five gram gold bar but it was the uh, and 
sometimes I just don't like styles of things. And it was an IGR bar at, I think it was, I can't remember the mint. It was like $5 cheaper than everybody else. So I'm just going to hold off. I'll uh, order the one gram next week, see what the prices are. Hopefully a cooler bar will be the lowest price one. And it, maybe that's cheating. I don't know. I just want my stuff to look cool. Don't you? But anyway, that's the challenge. I got my package from On Fire Guy. I've got more capsules, so I'm covered. So I'm going to be a little bit more organized. I'm having more fun with this challenge than I thought I would. I hope some of you guys... I know a couple of people are joined in. Uh, Stacking and Packing has joined in. I think Silver's Truck might be doing it. I can't remember. And there was a couple other people. There's like four or five YouTubers doing the challenge. So if you want to jump in, it's never too late. If it's... If you're watching this video in October of 2025, you can start the challenge right then. Feel free. Just as long as you're stacking something, you're accumulating real wealth. Anyway, I'm going to go out, get in my Jeep, and play in the snow because we're currently having a blizzard. Actually, we've got a gap in the snow right now. I'm looking out the window and there's no snow uh, coming down. There's snow on the ground and on the street. But I'm going to get my Jeep. I'm going to go run around the snow. I'm going to look for people that are stuck. I've got uh, kinetic rope and some soft shackles. I'm going to see if there's anybody that needs to get pulled out. It'll be a fun activity, um, and I'll be out playing in the snow in my Jeep. Anyway, i got to go have fun. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. On Fire Guy, thank you for the delivery, and I'll be ordering from you uh, more stuff soon. Have a great day, guys. Later.